If you hit the hostage, though, we're adding... Ten Civilian law enforcement agencies from Omaha and the surrounding metro area recently joined OFIT combat arms instructors and personnel from the Office of Special Investigations for a friendly competition with the goal of building relationships among the organizations. You know, it's a good opportunity to, to meet those who we uh, haven't worked with in the past and to build camaraderie amongst those who we've, uh, we've worked with and continue that working relationship so that we can protect the base and the local community. 28 participants from county, city, state, and federal agencies competed in the event that included a half-mile run followed by pistol competitions. The first one tested your ability to fire uh, with an increased heart rate. The second one was just more accuracy driven. And all the, the rounds on target either added to or subtracted from your overall run time in the beginning. The competition also served as a way to help raise money for a charity that sits close to home for many military members. It's going to benefit the Wounded Warrior Project, which is uh, it's a great uh, foundation that really helped people to come home uh, with disabilities, things like that, help them live a normal life and be able to function in society and have a good quality of life. So all the uh, money they're making is going to go to that, helping them out. So it's a really good cause and uh, it's fun. This was the first year for the event and organizers hope that it will grow even larger next year. We got the uh, College World Series going on and the, the great flood of 2011 as well, but uh, we expect a, a big turnout in the, the next few years. Police dropped the weapon. Delaney Stafford for Offutt Air Force Base, Nebraska.